Uh, Shalom. First and foremost, I'd like to give all praises and glory and honor to to Yahweh, Ba'ashem, Yahweh Shai, Ba'ashem, Wakar Kadash. Uh, double honors to the elders for preaching the word truthfully and sincerely. And Shalom to the Akim, scattered the four corners of the globe, preaching the word truthfully and sincerely as well, too. And I say, uh, Shalom to you, Akim, out there. And this was, uh, recently. Uh, say about a couple of hours ago um, I had seen it on the news as well too so I was like let me do a, a quick news report on it you know and this is from CNBC and MSN.com and this is uh, published by Ashley Cooper uh, six hours ago and it reads US military shoots down suspected Chinese surveillance balloon the U.S. military on Saturday shoot down a suspected Chinese surveillance balloon. The FAA uh, issued a ground stop in parts of North Carolina and South Carolina on Saturday afternoon. Right, and that goes, uh, I believe, Anthony Blinken was about to have a meeting. Because Anthony Blinken, you know, he's a representation of the Biden administration. And, you know, he was supposed to meet up with the, uh, I believe, the Chinese administration. But that trip was canceled due to the fact of the uh, Chinese surveillance spy balloon. Been hovering around North Carolina and South Carolina, uh, Colombia, Venezuela, uh, St. Louis. And throughout the United States, you've been seeing an uh, increase uh, as of... Uh, uh, two days or within the day I meant to say of this uh, surveillance spy balloon uh, from China and I'm going to read it again it says the United States military on Saturday shut down a suspected Chinese surveillance balloon right because that goes the, the current tensions between the United States and China have you know I just want to add that note as well, too. It says the United States on Saturday shut down a suspected Chinese surveillance balloon. The FAA uh, group stopped in parts of North Carolina and South Carolina on Saturday afternoon to support the Department of Defense in a, nation, in a national security effort. The highest altitude balloon was initially spotted over buildings of Montana on Wednesday. And it said the uh, China foreign minister said Friday that the balloon was a civilian weather airspace intending for scientific research that was blown off course. This claim was preliminary to miss by the U.S. officials. And it says the U.S. military on Saturday shot down a suspected Chinese surveillance balloon that has been translated across the, across the country for several days. In a statement Saturday, Security uh, Defense Lloyd Austin, a U.S. fire airspace assigned to uh, Northern Command, successfully brought down the balloon at the direction of President Joe Biden and Lloyd said the balloon was being used by the People's Republic of China in the attempt to survey strategic sites in the continental United States. Biden gave authorization on Wednesday to take the balloon, to take down the balloon as soon as it could be done without undue risk to American lives under the balloon's path, Lloyd said. In accordance uh, with the uh, President Direction, Department of Defense developed options to take down the balloon's safety over, the, over territorial waters, which, I mean, while closely monitoring uh, its path in intelligence collective collection activity, it said, statement TV footage shows the how high altitude balloon which is estimated to be a size of three school buses bursting into a small explosion before falling into the water 
officials will attempt to recover the dispersed, according to the NBC News. The Federal Habitation Administration issued a ground stop in parcels in North Carolina and South Carolina and closed an additional airspace on Saturday afternoon. The depart departures, which was paused to support Department of Defense. In a national security efforts, a represent the representative told CNBC, normal operations began resuming later that afternoon. It says, uh, broke his silence about the balloon for the first time Saturday, telling a group of reporters we are going to take care of it. Later that afternoon, he told reporters that he had instructed officials to shoot it down on Wednesday, but they wanted to wait until it was a was safe as possible. They successfully took it down, and I wanted to compliment the avatators who did it, Biden said, and we have more to report on this a little later. It says the balloon was initially spotted over Billions, uh, Montana. On Wednesday, defense officials said the uh, Pentagon considering shooting down the balloon earlier this week, but decided against it after briefing Biden. The decision was made to consolidation with senior leaders, including John Chief of Staff, Chairman General Mark Miley, and Defense Secretary Roy Austin. Biden uh, concluded that the U.S. will not shoot down the balloon because the disperse from it could cause damage on the ground, and Pentagon officials said, moreover, any information that balloons collect would have limited uh, additive value compared the compare with uh, Chinese spy satellites. And it says China Foreign Minister said Friday that the balloon was a civilian weather. Airspace intended for scientific research that was blown off course is because the incident as a result of for force major for which is not responsible. It says this claim was similarly dismissed by the officials, a senior Pentagon official told reporters Thursday night that the object was clearly a surveillance balloon that was flying over sensitive sites to collect intelligence. We have note that the PRC statement of regular, but the presence of this balloon is our airspace is a clear violation of our sovereignty, as well as international law, and it's unacceptable that it has occurred, the official said. The presence of the balloon prompted U.S. Secretary Anthony Blinken to a definite postpone was to be an already uh, tension trip to China on Friday. The visit intends to reinforce communication and cooperation between the two countries as tensions have been deepening over China's increasingly military aggression towards Taiwan and close alliance with Russia, President Vladimir Putin. It says, uh, instead, Blinken told Chinese directors of Central Foreign Affairs Office Yang Wei in a Yang Wei, I uh, pronounced the name right, in a phone call Friday that the balloon was an irresponsible act and a clear violation of U.S. sovereignty and international law that underlined the pros of the trip according to a read out of the discussion. And I was gonna go to RT.com, uh, I believe uh, uh, Chinese administration. I think they had a response to that. Uh, let me see if this is right here. Uh, I think that's not it. Was it was it they had a response to it? Oh, I think this is right here. It says uh, China re reacts to Blinken's visit delay. Neither side has even announced that such a trip was planned. 
Beijing has clan. Mm, that's interesting. It says uh, China has said it it respects the Biden administration decision to postpone the visit by the Secretary of State Anthony Blinken to Beijing after a Chinese high altitude balloon was spotted in U.S. airspace. The world of both Chinese and American diplomats is to properly manage bilateral relations, particularly to manage some unexpected situations in a cool-headed and prudent manner, China Foreign Minister said in a statement Saturday. In fact, neither side, it says, in fact, neither side has ever announced that there will be a visit, the minister pointed out. As for Washington postponing uh, Blinken's trip, it is a matter for the U.S. to make its latest announcement, and we respect that the statement said. The ministry reiterated that the balloon spotted in the American airspace on Wednesday, which the U.S. claims to be a spy device, was actually a Chinese civilian air, airship used for research, mainly Matter, meteorological purpose. This is an entire unexpected situation caused by force measure and defects. They are very clear. They scratch them. Blinken has phoned a high ranked Chinese diplomatic Wang Yi to inform him that we will not be traveling to Beijing on Friday, which was yesterday. It says uh, the Secretary of State claimed he told Yi Wing. Uh, Wayne, that the uh, persistence of the surveillance balloon in the U.S. airspace is a clear violation of the U.S. sovereignty, and that Beijing decision to make this action on the eve of my planned visit of the term to uh, to the substantial discussions that we were prepared to have, and it says during the call, Wayne assured Blinken that China was a responsible country that respects international law. Chinese English language newspaper The Global Times reported the Chinese diplomat insists that the sides maintain focus and avoid misjudgment when dealing with unexpected situations. The paper added, Blinken visit to China was allegedly arranged by the US leader Joe Biden and the China and the Chinese president Xi Jinping at the G20 summit in Indonesia last November and was due to become the first trip to Beijing by the US Secretary of State since 2020. It says late on Friday the Pentagon said it has detached another object seated as a Chinese surveillance balloon flying above Latin America, I believe which is Colombia and Venezuela, although it did not appear to be heading towards the U.S. territory. So yeah, as you see uh, now coming to reports of claims that that was a uh, airspace uh, balloon according to uh, China. And then you had the United States saying it was a uh, secret spy surveillance balloon over uh, hovering over the United States, North Carolina, South Carolina, over Montana, and St. Louis as well too. And and it was a second one they reported. It was flying over uh, South America, which is Venezuela and uh, Colombia. You know. So with that, I uh, hope this uh, lesson was edifying of this recent news article that I brought out of the, uh, as of February 4th, 2023, as you see, uh, U.S. shoots down Chinese spy balloon, and the uh, second one of China reacting to Anthony Blinken's visit, and according to Beijing, they say either side have never planned a uh, meeting between two uh, countries, you know. But you still gonna have that tensions between Washington and Beijing and China and the United States as well too, you know. So tensions are is gonna increase 
even more. Even, even if they have some type of dialogue or potential dialogue meeting with one another, there's still going to be that tension between China and the United States, you know. So with that, uh, hopefully this uh, lesson was edifying. And I'd like to give all praises and glory and honor to to Yahweh, Ba'ashem, Yahweh Shai, Ba'ashem, Wakar Kadash. Double honors to the elders for preaching this word truthfully and sincerely. And shalom to the Akim scattered through the four corners of the globe. Preaching the word truthfully and sincerely. And until next time, I will say shalom.